Alrighty, today's G-Body special. We got some 1982, 83, maybe a couple other years, probably base model, 14-inch hubcaps. Story behind these is I got that um, 1983 Cutlass given to me for free. Call it the Brown Town Cuddy. But uh, it had a full set on it with white wall tires. And I just thought they kind of look cool. Be nice to clean them up. And then I found this set um, for sale for pretty cheap. So I bought them with the plans to restore one set out of all the best pieces of the two sets of hubcaps. So anyways, I decided I'll just restore all of them, all eight of them, but putting all the best pieces, all the inserts into uh, the good set and just make one really, really nice set. Try to anyways. So the hubcap here in the top right had been painted at some point in the past and they had sanded off the old paint. It was uh, quite a bad job. So that needed to be polished out and cleaned up if I was going to use that one, even if it was one of the shitty ones. It just needed to be redone because that was just brutal. And just a close look here at what the emblems look like factory. These ones are actually in pretty decent shape. A little bit of chipping on the factory style red paint, but overall not bad. Also, these the good set of hubcaps must have been owned by an old dude who was paranoid about them getting stolen. So looks like he scribed his license number in them. I wasn't going to touch that, whatever. It's a unique touch and these were in such good shape it wasn't worth it. This is just a little view of how the inlay was painted from factory. There's like a flat black inlay in the stamping there, which I will be redoing. A few of the tools I used here. And then, yeah, first off, just start by using one of the picks here. Flip out these tabs that hold all the inserts in and then uh, bang them out. Make sure you flatten them back out as soon as you're done because these little bastards are sharp. And trust me, I learned my lesson. And there's also three little tabs on the back side of the uh, little inserts there. They hook into the stamped metal. They pop out pretty easy. The one with the valve stems only got two of them. And then once they're out, you can kind of see what you're working with in behind those three tabs. And then the flat black paint that's kind of worn out. Here's a look at the factory finish. Well, what's left of it anyways. It's a kind of a silvery, looks really thin, but it's basically silver. And then if you're as picky as me, this is the opportunity to shave off or sand off the little uh, casting lines. But uh, here's the center emblem. It's exactly the same as the outside little clippies. You just pop those off. It comes out no problem. A little bit of dirtiness, clean her up. And then they're apart. Time for cleanup. I use the uh, actual SOS brand SOS pad. It doesn't really scuff anything up, and it did bring those out pretty clean. I did try and sand off some of this red paint, but it just wasn't happening, and that scotch bright just scratches up the plastic chrome on these guys, so I just left it and painted over it. I used this little model glue red paint, but seems to do the trick, and I've used it on emblems before, and seems to hold up in the elements, so what can you do? I did a little test on some tin foil, simulating kind of what it would look like. I figured, you know what, that's close enough for me. And uh, yeah, turned out okay. Not the super best finish. Didn't quite lay, had a little bubbles in some of the paint, but whatever. You're never going to be looking at your hubcaps that close, unless you're me. And then followed it up with a little touch up with the fine brush and the black, flat black paint in the inlay there. I gave the uh, little inserts a little scuff. Some of them I did with the scotch right, a really fine scotch right. But I found the later ones I did, I did a second batch there. I just, I just scrubbed them hard with the SOS pad there when I cleaned them all up and it was fine. Give them a little wipe down with the uh, wax and grease remover and then off to paint. One thing I screwed up on is I didn't blow them down after painting them with some air and I had some little curlies in there, little fibers that stuck in the paint. You'll never see it, but it still bugged me. Should have blown them down. So the paint I used, I had a really old can of uh, ultra enamel or whatever that laid just nice and looked really similar to the factory silver. 
So I just went around looking for uh, paint that would be really, really close. And that was an old can, but I found this uh, aluminum chrome, whatever brand paint, but it worked. Uh, it laid exactly the same and looked the same. So, yep. So then I uh, brushed in the black, flat black on the stamped inlays there. And that cleaned up pretty nice. And then it was time for reassembly. So basically just pop all the clips back in and then back up the back there and push down on that little tab as you're pushing it in. And they usually pop up in there tight. You might have to go back and forth to either side. And then just made sure that I didn't put the valve stem one in the wrong spot because it goes in the one with only two tabs. So other than that, they clip together pretty nice. And here you see probably the best shape one I had all completed. Looking pretty damn good. So after a good bit of polishing on that really scratched hubcap, I went all the way down to, I think, 3000 grits uh, sandpaper and then a mother's billet mag wheel aluminum polish actually, but it worked just the same on this. And it actually came out like a mirror finish. It was looked nothing like the other one. So then I had to figure out how am I gonna get that brushed circular look to match the other hubcaps. So I glued some 1500 uh, grit sandpaper on the back of a double-sided piece of foam and then uh, lubed her up with a little bit of WD-40 there and put her on the lathe. Okay, by lathe I mean repurposed 1984 cutlass, but uh, she'll do the trick. Anyways, I uh, gave her a shot there with the 1500, cleaned it up, it just wasn't enough brush look it was still really uh mirror finishy just didn't quite look it so i jumped right up to the 600 grit and did it again and, uh, pushed a little bit harder this time you know take baby steps you don't want to freaking go too far and then have to start over again but uh the 600 worked mint and like it's really really close to looking like the other ones but you know it's really hard to get an exact match but i'm really happy with the way it turned out and it kind of holds and reflects the light the same way those uh brushed centers do on the other good hubcaps so after this colossal what seems like colossal waste of time on something you usually throw out first when you buy a car it actually turned out pretty good you got that nice brushed circular look there and then compared to the other one below it it actually reflects the light really really similar so i was quite happy with that and there you have it this is a little before shot the really scratched one there up on the right i think this is the exact uh ones that i used for the best keepers the minty ones there it is up on the right the scratched one again looking pretty damn good after that polishing and custom lathe work and of course i couldn't leave the shitty ones not done i might as well have done them all so here we go we got eight of them and uh yeah now i have two full sets but i'll sell the other one or whatever i don't know even the little guy said man would you just look at it anyways thanks for watching i mean this is what i do on my spare time when i don't have better shit to do i'm working on g bodies or playing around and I don't know, this kind of little mini restoration shit kind of keeps me sane, and uh, it is what it is.